Welcome, light workers, star seeds, and light warriors, to this week's weekly messages for June the 10th through the 17th. My name is Lisa. This is Heart of Inspiration. I have a brand spanking new deck here that we're going to be using. Um, I'll show the box to you guys in a moment. I, like, literally, I'm opening it up. It's the Tarot de la Nuit. So maybe the Tarot of the Night. I saw someone utilizing this. You guys are probably going to be like, she's butchering the packaging. Anyway, you guys, um, thanks for, for hanging out with me today. Please consider liking, subscribing, and or sharing. Okay, while we get this deck together for the weekly reading. We're going to do Leo. All right, we're back. We're going to go on and move it on with Leo. Leo, sun, moon, and rising. Leo, sun, moon, and rising. And we are using the Tarot de la Nuit. Okay, so sun, moon, and rising. Leo, sun, moon. And rising Leo. Thank you. Okay, Leo, Sun, Moon, and rising. Let me just finish this off so I can get to where the bottom of the deck is meant to be. All right, so. Oh boy, here we are. Um, Leo energy coming towards you uh, let me find there we are five pentacles um this is going to be kind of a cold cold week this is going to be a week where you're like i don't understand i thought things were going okay um and it really a lot of this has more to do with it has less to do with whether or not things are not going okay less to do with you as an individual leo and probably and a lot more to do with how the world is right now right like it's like we can't seem to get good footing and we want you especially leos we're like where's the loyalty where's the love um where's the compassion where's the group think why are we like fighting each other why are we not getting along why can't people understand one another i don't understand certain things right so it's this really kind of mass confusion going on um what's going to help you though with this is strength is your own self right this is you major arcana you so being in your most leo self like not losing um not losing it not losing faith not losing the possibilities not losing all of these things just not losing um is not losing hope right is probably um going to be one of the most critical aspects of maintaining a semblance of stability and really moving out of feeling like you know you are just out here on an island and everyone's out here on their respective islands and well i don't understand right like i don't know where i fit in or i don't know how to get everybody back on the same page there's a level of this where people aren't going to be on the same page we're turning the page and in the midst of turning the page and actually changing probably ending the book really and, and instead of just changing chapters um yeah it's tough and it's it's just not easy it's really just not easy so um but finding that within yourself and being having the courage to stand up for what you know is right having the courage to face your own right so 
A challenge is going to be the Two of Pentacles. And the reason why I'm hearing that is a definite challenge because what's going to help you overcome, interestingly enough, is the devil. Isn't she kind of interesting looking? Um, listen. Yeah, she's real interesting. Um, thinking that you've achieved this balance and saying, kind of sticking your head in the sand and saying, this doesn't really apply to me. Um, so I'm just going to kind of ignore it is not the answer. Um, it's understanding where your toxicity is. Now, that could be personal toxicity that's yet to be um, purged and dealt with, like more of that shadow work that we've been talking about, like really understanding yourself. That could be toxicity in how you are looking at and relating to the world. Um, that could be recognizing that some um, areas that you thought were fine in the world um, really are not. That can be, for some of you, it might be that you guys might have to recognize that maybe there, you know, is some sort of substance issue and, you know, have the courage to step forward and take accountability for that and say, you know what, I'm going to get help for it. I think my life is in balance. And again, that could be some conversations, um, Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising that you might be having internally as to why you're feeling left out in the cold. Um, advice or outcome, I have the Nine of Wands. So really, this is going to be a time of of reflection for you, a time of reflection, a time of reset, a time of what the heck have I been doing and um, why? Can I get some clarifications here for Leo? Yeah, Seven of Cups. Some of you are probably a little bit confused, but there are a lot of choices that you have to make um, and choices are gonna present themselves. You're gonna have the opportunities to make those choices so that you can achieve Ten of Cups you know, kind of nirvana where things are fully, um, you know, where you've got you know, like wish fulfillment, right? And here's Page of Pentacles. You're going to be manifesting um, all aspects of life in a new and like really cool way. Um, and But this is going to take you going within and being a little solitary with the Hermit card. Like this is going to take you being willing to say, I'm willing to be solitary. I'm willing to go within. I'm willing to not like be as out there, you know, amongst the people and take stock in myself um, in a real honest way. Okay. So that is Leo, Leo, sun, moon and rising.